as exciting as a new Pokemon Legends game is, I'd be cautious in thinking this is all sunshine and rainbows. There's a chance this could be a fantastic game, and there's also a chance that the same problems which have been harming Pokemon for years now will continue to occur. So let's get into it. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Mood News. Uh, apologies if I sound stuffed or sick or gross, it's because I am. I was really upset because yes, I basically couldn't do anything. I was just sniffling all day. But today, look what happened. We got a Pokemon Presents. Well, it's not called Pokemon Direct. It's called Pokemon Presents. Get that right, guys. Don't forget it. Has that always been the case? Has it always been called Pokemon Presents? Oh, it doesn't matter. Anyway, Pokemon Day. Oh, happy Pokemon Day, everyone. Huge day for annoying people such as myself. That's such a good meme. Anyways, let's quickly go through what was shown in the Pokemon Presents before we get into the, the big girthy news of today. So, Pokemon Presents today started with Pokemon Go news, Pokemon Sleep news, Pokemon Masters GX, is that what it's called? Pokemon Masters GX news, Pokemon Cafe Remix news, Pokemon Unite news. It was very, very quick, and I, I, I quite like this, actually, because usually it's 20 or 30 minutes, and the first 20 or, or 25 is just that. This time, they managed to condense it down to, like, the whole thing was only 13 minutes, and I really liked how fast-paced and quick these, these ones were, because, like, you know, it's not a major news. And, and then, when they did come up with a major news, they did give us a little bit more time, because next, we got a new trading card game mobile version, which is kind of exciting, called Pokemon TGC uh, Pocket, I think. Why is he drinking milk? I'm surprised this didn't exist already. I'm sure this will make Pokemon Company a lot of money. I, everyone, I think, who likes Pokemon looks for cards at one point in their life. So having a mobile digital version of this is actually, has a lot of potential of being really, really fun. Again, very surprised if I didn't do this already, but that's pretty cool. But then we get on to the big chunky news. So we didn't get Gen 5 as many people were expecting. We didn't get a remake of Black and White. We didn't get a Legends game set in Nova. We didn't get Black and White 3 as some people were saying, which would have been really, really crazy and cool to think. But instead, we got a Gen 6 game, which is crazy to think about initially. Being like, oh, whoa, they skipped Gen 5. Like Everyone loves Gen 5. What's happening? But then you remember Gen 6 didn't get anything outside of its two games like look at black and white right they got sequels look at sun and moon they got sequels look at the latest two with gen 8 and 9 both of those got dlc pokemon x and y never got a third game it never got z or all z as some people might say or as i should say well i'm half american i've always said z oh i got bullied for it well who cares whatever a pokemon well regardless it seems like a decade later and more than a decade later we finally got that wish come true. We finally got Pokemon Z. Well, Pokemon Legend Z. Actually, technically, Pokemon Legend ZA or Z Alpha. How is it? How is it pronounced? It was a bit. The title looks a bit confusing. Maybe it's Z minus A. Regardless, that is pretty bloody cool and shocking in like the best way possible. Like, obviously, I love black and white, but I also really, really love Pokemon X and Y. I think out of, I think that's the first game which I was like hyping and watching the trailers for more than the other two. Like, I remember reading about Pokemon Black and White in the official Nintendo magazine when I was, like, nine, which was really fun. But when X and Y came out, I was, like, 13 or 12, 13, so I was able to, you know, a bit more clever with using the internet. I actually was able to, like, catch up with the news and watch, like, new reveals and stuff, which was really fun. And I loved those games growing up. So the fact that it's getting a sequel or a legend, however you would say it, is bloody exciting. That's really, really cool. Also, also a lot of people were expecting a Gen 2 remake or something maybe like a let's go what is it what is some pokemon from that morel i don't know insert pokemon names here from from gen 2 people were expecting that but i really wasn't it, it's kind of funny though because when you look back through the direct there's so many little hints at it being gen 2 like they showed the legendary you know they showed entei and, and all, all his buddies during during that and they showed like the unknown it, it was very just gen 2 coated and then at the end they just like did an entire curveball <laughs> with with gen 6 which is kind of funny uh, i don't know i like being surprised so this is all good and positive for me and we didn't really get much in terms of the trailer for legend ca uh the most it seems to imply is that it's the same sort of game you know as as legends as we had with the catching mechanic and stuff from legends arceus however it seems like there's like a city builder mechanic put into it which is really really fun uh, i mean it, it put a lot of focus on lumio city which is like the main central like paris looking location from gen x and y and so it really gets me thinking that the main loop for this game is going to be catching pokemon specifically to help renovate and build out the city in multiple different ways maybe you get like you know 
water Pokemon to do this, but, you know, grass Pokemon to do that. Almost kind of like a uh, power world, <laughs> which is kind of funny to think about. Maybe or maybe not, you know, but regardless that regardless of, of, of where that idea came from or, or, or what it could be compared to, that seems to be a really healthy and good direction for the Legends games to get because a lot of people complained about Legends Arceus like feeling lost later on or feeling like it doesn't really have much of a point with catching a Pokemon. You sort of just get bored of it once you do it a decent amount of times. But with this, it feels like the progression of building out the central hub is a bit more so similar to games like Monster Hunter, where you're like renovating like your character and building up strength over and over again. This is like that, but instead of like focusing on your character's build, it's focusing on buildings, which is which is always fun. But that's enough of talking about you know all the exciting moments. Let's get down to you know bring bring ourselves back down to reality before speculating just for a little bit, which is probably why you guys clicked on my video, right? What is what is Mad saying that, that this game might be in trouble? What is it? He seems pretty positive about it right now. Well, here we go, lads. So I've seen a lot of people saying that this game isn't going to be rushed, but it's coming out next year. Oh, they're going to have so much time to work with this Pokemon game. Finally, Game Freak isn't rushing putting out a game. So most people are saying this because it said 2025 release window, right? At the end of the trailer. So coming out in 2025, worldwide release. Here's the thing though. So it's February 2024 now, right? The game is projected to come out and release in 2025. Go back a few years to 2021, February. We had Pokemon Legends Arceus be announced. Okay. When did that game come out? It came out in January 2022. 11 months, but technically it came out in 2022. And so that's kind of similar. This game could very much so come out in 2025 January, you know? Like, it could come out later in the year, but it's probably going to come out like in the early half of the year. And on top of that, Arceus showcased a little thing called gameplay <laughs> in February 2021. Uh, did we see gameplay with this? No, we just saw a strange sort of trailer. Even if you look at Pokemon Scarlet and Violet when that was first announced, they had like a tiny bit of gameplay shown in, but it was like mainly like this fun sort of like opening cutscene sort of live action stuff, but then it transitioned into showing us a little bit of gameplay. This was purely concept and trailer sort of, you know, flashy bits. We didn't see a single bit of gameplay in this whatsoever. And that's what's got me concerned for most is that this could have the exact same trajectory of Legends Arceus for previous game. And that's really all we have to base off of this, right? There's really nothing else giving us any information or anything we can relate to on this except for what's happened prior. And this exact, and it's an exact same trajectory as, as the previous Legends game being revealed in February and releasing quote unquote next year. And so seeing a lack of gameplay has me a little bit concerned that crap, a lot of people were saying, oh, they're way ahead of schedule, we're playing more time. But do they really? I really think that, you know, these guys are still very stressed, maybe. <laughs> I, don't, I mean, I don't know how Game Freak works, but I'm not betting that this is going to be a non-rushed game. That this game isn't going to take as much time as they want with this game. It, it's just, it doesn't, I don't trust myself with that. I think if they were going to do that, they wouldn't announce the game, truly. Like, I, I, I don't want to be... Uh, a negative Nancy and be like, you yeah, know, blah, 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 blah. But I'm a little bit concerned, you know, and seeing everyone overwhelmingly think this is a great thing, but finally not rushing a game. I just don't want to set our expectations to be that way for this game to come out and still feel rushed and stuff. Because then everyone's going to be disappointed. And so I think just, you know, basing our expectations in reality and basing expectations of what's happened prior is the best way of going. And again, like Pokemon Legends Arceus, sure, it was very glitchy and, and well, it wasn't even necessarily glitchy. It was just very, uh, I guess, ugly or unpolished in a lot of ways, but it was also it was polished in a lot of other ways. Um, I never thought that the game was anything unpolished about it, except for it being aesthetically unpleasing at times. Scarlet and Violet is a whole other mess where I literally glitched into a wall and then I couldn't keep playing and that sort of just made me stop playing the whole game. Call me petty, I don't know. I was just like, all right, I'm stuck in a, in a brick wall. I might as well just put down the game and play something else. So with that, I'm just not gonna jump on the bandwagon of being like, this game will not be rushed. As much as I'd like it not to be rushed, as much as I'd like these developers to take all the time they need to make a product which, you know, they're very happy with, that's not how I see Game Freak working currently. I think maybe they, they've acknowledged that their games need a little bit more time in the oven. I think, I think in a couple of interviews, uh, Mr. Game Freak himself has said that. But even with that acknowledgement, I don't think 
that's going to take full effect into Game Freak until maybe Gen 10 or later, you know? Like, I think maybe 2025, 2026 is when it's going to be a bit more easy. I think maybe this might be the final, quote unquote, rushed game. Unless they see it being delayed or put later than early next year. But I really think it's going to be early next year. Like, that's just what my gut's telling me. That's what we've seen before. Uh, that's probably what everyone's expecting when they say 2025. Just because, again, that's what happened with Arceus prior. Um, and they probably want to launch it around the same time as the Switch 2, which is slated to be in the first quarter of 2025 unfortunately i'm not sure if you guys have heard about this but apparently the switch 2 was delayed internally to 2025 but it they still want it to be in the fiscal year um, so it will be in the first quarter most likely and you know nintendo and pokemon company have all their financial reports and all their plans with you know having things come out at a certain time so i think this will most likely be in the first three months of next year if not the first month but not to leave us on a negative note let's talk about some of the positives so you know we've got possible city building mechanic which seems really fun we have a possibility of new mega evolutions which is super exciting i mean that's all but confirmed with that trailer at the end showing like oh new mega evolutions are coming very very excited about that we have a possibility of very cool lore with az the, the 3000 years guy uh, in case you remember him this being another legends game means they might take care of the shortcomings in the previous one Something which I'm thinking right now as well is this game could have some sort of aspect of time travel. Uh, looking at the title being called Z-A, apart from Zygarde and AZ being related to the title, uh, it could also give the idea of like working your way back. You know, like going from Z to instead of A to Z. I'm sure everyone's had the term like, oh, from A to Z. It being Z to A makes you think, okay, maybe there's some sort of aspect of like going back in time or discovering things. I don't know. I think like the possibility of how the title is titled means that there could be some really cool stuff. Maybe not even necessarily lore-wise, but also gameplay-wise, which could be very exciting outside of the building mechanic we've talked about. But at the same time, will Legend ZA be coming to the Switch 2? Will it be a dual release for Switch 1 and Switch 2? If it comes out on Switch 1 close to Switch 2, is it dooming that console? Like, if it doesn't come out for Switch 2, but it releases, like, you know, a couple of months before that's released, could that cause a hindrance in people buying the console, you know? Like, ooh, it's a bit dangerous in terms of that corner of things like well you know a new pokemon game just came out for the switch one what's the point of getting the switch two unless it runs it at like a better frame rate or something and as exciting as it is being gen 6 the fact that it's not gen 5 does that imply we're not gonna get a gen 5 remake or new game like the gen 4 remake was done by a different developer and legends arceus was done by game freak so we could have had something like that going on but is it just that the gen 4 remakes of brilliant diamond and shining pearl was that just so panned by reviewers and, and and fans alike that they just decided nope we're not gonna do that for gen 5 i mean i'm, I'm i'd rather get a good product than like a, a mid one for, for gen 5 like but does that just cut out the idea of gen 5 remakes entirely not really sure about that I thought it was too early for Gen 5 remakes anyway until like a couple of months ago when everyone started talking about them. So I'd expect that in like maybe 2026, 2027, really. And if this game is released on the Switch 2 or around the time where the Switch 2 is revealed and released, is it going to be the first Pokemon game to be $70? If that's the case, then there's going to be even more pressure for this game to live up to expectations or exceed expectations. And I think the one thing <laughs> which Game Freak needs right now is not as much pressure. I think they need to take their time and and, and chill out and just like work decent hours and, and all that stuff. You just take the time with the product. And I just think the amount of pressure which is boiling over them with this game and it's time to release if it does come out around um, the beginning of the year is it's just... It's just playing a little bit dangerous, you know what I mean? But at the same time, this game has so much potential to do some incredible stuff and expand on one of my favorite Pokemon experiences I've had in recent years. So what do you guys think of this? Do you think I'm, I'm right in this? Do you, do you have an opinion of you thinking that this game will not be rushed, that this game will be a perfect masterpiece and that Game Freak have learnt and it will come out like later, later 2025? Or do you think that it will come out in the beginning of a year and might be rushed and a little bit buggy but let me know what you guys think i'm, I'm hoping for the best i'm bringing you on game freak you got this and yeah let me know what you guys think in the comments and i will talk to you later hopefully next time i won't sound like a sniffly old creature from the darkness behind you if there's a creature behind you